Yeah, let's get into the juice because I want to get into the juice. We were Daima. talking about anime. Let's talk about it. Um, do, do you want? I think you should go first, <sighs> guys. If there's one thing, guys and girls, if there's one thing that I really wanted and I'm excited to see, we're getting a ton of. It is Goku using the power pole. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Him using Let's the power go. pole in this trailer. I just want to say that off the bat. Oh my goodness. I'm so satisfied. I'm so hungry to even go back and watch Dragon Ball again like the the original just because man that was such a fun tool that he got to use that and the nimbus cloud yeah. of course not really uh i think it's cool and i like that it gets winks nowadays but um not really too, too I relevant wish, I, wish was, I love the nimbus it's yeah, one of my yeah. favorite things it's cool i wish that like it would show up more like even if people that couldn't fly that i wish pan i wish pan inherited like using the nimbus now because like she wasn't good at flying. i think that would have been a good moment to like have nimbus come back like pan because nimbus um uh nimbus was around for gohan too uh so just looking back on the chat now super saiyan one and four best forms of all are you serious you don't think this the super saiyan three just like josh you have a better tap on the community right a better a closer ear i'm curious to know I grew up under the impression that Super Saiyan 3 was, like, badass. Did people yeah, not yeah, like Super like, Saiyan 3? They do, but they don't. Like, um, so, actually, fun fact, when Ultra Ego got shown, people hated it. They hated how it looked. They didn't like it at all. There are actually people who petitioned for it to fucking be, like, retconned. Like, to make it a one-time thing versus That's Granola so and hit to change. Yeah. People did not like the eyebrow thing. Like, oh, the Super Saiyan 3, like, it, looks just, it just looks terrible. I'm like, I love it personally. I like yeah. the eyebrow thing. It looks it looks menacing as hell, but it doesn't look menacing to the point where it's like, you know, like it doesn't look too overly menacing. It looks good enough. Um <clears throat> uh there's a good like, you know, balance. Um but Super Saiyan 3 people just don't like it because as much, just because a lot of people in Dragon Ball, I mean we like Dragon Ball because a lot of the stuff in Dragon Ball is simplistic, and that's kind of what Super Saiyan 1 and 2 are um and that's kind of also why a lot of people like ultra instinct and that's also why i like ultra instinct omen more than i like mastered ultra instinct like we talked about earlier with the or, or on our manga lookout which you guys should be checking out by the way uh we're now uh reading dragon ball kakame um but yeah um like like i was saying earlier um i like ultra uh, instinct omen or sign with the aura more than mui it's more simplistic but it, it just feels a lot cleaner and i yeah. think that's how a lot of the community feels about a lot of things dragon ball mm -hmm. If you make it simple, simple doesn't necessarily mean bad, to be honest. I mean, Dragon Ball can go in a simple route with their transformations and maybe focus more on not necessarily only power scaling, but maybe more world building because that's what Dragon Ball was really good at in the beginning of the IP, um, <clears throat> which is kind of hope, I hope what we get in the new arc in the chapter. But yeah, I think that's why people don't really like Super Saiyan 3 as much, just because they're, they like more simplistic roles. And then I know a lot of people do not like the eyebrows. I don't mind it personally i think it's pretty cool um and then the people also don't like that uh three it wasn't shown much so there's not much to scale off of like oh he can do this unique move in this form and um uh the the fourth thing is the amount of negative stuff it brings to the table as a, as a new form i think people were a little bit um disappointed with how weak super saiyan 3 is just because of its stamina drain. I said this actually, didn't I? I talked about this, uh, I think last week's yeah, podcast. Definitely um, recently. That Super, Sa Super Saiyan 2 is, if you trained as Super Saiyan 2 level, your base value and then transformed to Super Saiyan 2 and mastered it, it's better than Super Saiyan 3 because you're lasting longer in the fight. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 may have better potency. It might hit, You might hit a bit harder for a little bit, but your stamina is being drained out the ass. I, think, the I think it has like, if we didn't ascend to, uh, I'd love to have seen like an alternate reality where, you know super saiyan like we got to see super saiyan 3 a bit longer um yeah because i think it would have been this interesting thing of if we need to end this quick we're using super saiyan 3 but if we're in it for the long route it's probably ssj2 and we didn't really get i mean against what i was saying earlier with the tiktok video we didn't get that much super saiyan 2 it was pretty short-lived before we were already introduced to another form super saiyan 3 so 
I know. I think what they should have done with Super Saiyan 3 is make it like um, how the manga did uh, Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue with Vegeta uh, during the Zamsu arc. So when Vegeta's trying to like uh, uh, gain speed, he charges in with Super Saiyan God because it's faster. And then Super Saiyan Blue is the overall better form and it hits harder. So it would it would have been cool if like um, somehow Goku trained in Super Saiyan 2 um, very well, but then tapped into Super Saiyan 3 right before the punch so that he hits harder and then goes back to Super Saiyan 2. I mean, we kind of saw that, that with, really cool. we saw that with Black Frieza. Yeah. In the last arc, right? Because uh, he just turns into black when he delivers the hit to Granola and then he transforms back right away to whatever white form, final form, whatever. You... What is that form technically yeah. referred to now? Black Frieza. No, no, no. Oh, no. oh, oh it's just Frieza. It's just Frieza. That's just base uh, that's... Frieza. Like, he's never going back I... down. That's, yeah, well, technically it's called final form Frieza. That's what I'm saying, like final form. I guess, I guess we could just say base at this point. Base I mean, at this, at, this, at this point, that it, it's his new base. His, his final form is now his new base, right? Because right. he can go golden now, so... You can go golden and then black, so. That's true. Uh, yeah. Last, uh, just a few more comments before we get back into the conversation. Uh, the power pole made it so much better. Yeah, dude, for sure. Uh, SS3 useless. Hard to argue against, but I definitely agree with you that the cool, uh, there was a cool transformation moment there for sure. I think anyone, regardless of whether or not you liked the Boo Saga, uh, Super Saiyan 3 was a badass moment uh, for yeah. sure. It was, it was. Yeah. Uh, Josh, um, I, I want yeah. you to tell me a little bit about uh, what you uh, thought about Daima. Daima, man. Um, okay, let's start off with the negative stuff because I want to talk about the positive stuff. Okay, more. okay. Um, I only really have one negative thing to talk about, to be honest. And it's just that I wanted a bit more from the trailer, I think. Um, and I, I don't, it's not even about spoilers. Uh, I think there's a, uh, um, I, was about to, I don't even know what I was about to say. I think there's a conversation to be had and I, it kind of sucks that, not sucks, but I really do want to dedicate a full day, like a full episode to Daima, uh, especially later on. But um, I think we, like, we only really got Goku in the trailer um, from the Z Fighters for the most part, right? Yeah. If I remember correctly, it's basically just Goku and like all these demons and this demon realm thing. Um, Thoughts on how the demons look? Uh, they look pretty simple. They look very Toriyama esque. I am not mad at it. I think it's pretty cool. Yep. Again, pretty simple. It remind, uh, some people were saying it reminds them of Dragon Quest. Not too familiar with Dragon Quest. It, to me, it just reminds me of um, like Isekai genres. Like um, you know what Isekai is? It's like Sword Art Online, all that stuff. Yes. Yeah. It's like you know they go into a, a video game. It just reminds me of an MMO like kind of creatures. Like they're like orcs and all this stuff. I don't mind it. I know it's a bit simple, but I mean, that's kind of always been Toriyama's style yeah. with how he, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. I mean, I hope, uh, I hope they're not the main villains though. I'm going to be real because I know like yeah. we could, we could say like s simple is what Toriyama's like perfected, but I mean, he's also made characters like Frieza and Cell who look phenomenal in, in every form. I mean, whether you don't like how second form Cell sounds, he still looks pretty cool in, in the terms of like, how he was drawn and how the transition period from the first one to the second one. Um, and I think Toriyama could, especially since this is his passion project for the 40 years, and this is probably his last thing he's doing. Um, I'm hoping we get some super, super cool, like final villain. And I hope it's not only Goku. I'll be honest. I, I don't want it to be a fully Goku thing. Goku being the main character is completely fine, obviously. Uh, and we all know Toriyama really just likes Piccolo and Goku for the most part. Um, so I would like to see at least some Piccolo action if we're gonna get if we're not gonna get Vegeta or Gohan and stuff. Uh, Gohan is someone I just want to briefly talk about too in a sec here, okay. um, <clears throat> because we still haven't seen him in the first two trailers, which is very very weird. Yeah. Um. Uh. But I I would like to see more. I I would have liked to see more Z fighters. The villains are fine. I don't think I usually in trailers. From my understanding, Mike, you know better since you know you did film and stuff. But from my understanding. Trailers tend to show you a lot of the beginning of the film, right? Usually. 
Sometimes. Is that usually how it goes? Yeah. Because I mean, like, I, I feel mean, like what we're getting is the beginning side of Daima, maybe the first few episodes in these first two trailers. And then they're they're going to surprise. They're going to hit us with something maybe in like episode four or five. Like, oh, we not see this. Like, what the hell? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, for sure. And that's definitely some, uh, an approach that uh, they could take. I think one thing as well is they're trying to tap into the Dragon Ball lovers uh, hearts. I think they yeah. wanted to do something that felt nostalgic uh and so that's probably like that's just my thought as to why we maybe saw a bit more of goku in it it really did kind of feel like a dragon ball adventure uh i think that's why myself uh it, it sounds like you included are very very excited for the show but yeah i definitely yeah. i mean th they wouldn't have gone through um the effort of showing us the illustrations and obviously we've seen uh characters shrink down so i'm sure we're going to see everybody probably not uh, a few characters or maybe not a few characters right like you said you, that was a good point at where the heck's gohan what's going on yeah. here um but yeah uh so overall your hype level is pretty high for this for this show yeah i'm at a i i'd be honest with you the i was more i'm not gonna lie to you i expected more from the trailer but i'm still hyped for it to come out like when we do content on daima week to week i'm gonna be absolutely ecstatic like i can't wait to just talk about something new dragon ball i mean we're already getting a new manga arc which i'm so fucking ex like you don't understand how excited i we've been all i mean you have toby here you have gerald in here um like for example they they also read the manga like we've been waiting for so long so getting daima too yeah i'm excited I, i'm giving it so far my excitement go, going into watching it is like a 10. Right now, I'm more at like a 7 just because I expected more from the trailer, blah, blah, blah. And we're not there yet. It's still so much longer. And I feel like now that we got the second trailer, we're not going to get much for another few months, which kind of sucks. I like that, though, because I don't want too much. But it also sucks because, you know, I want it I want it now, right? Um, but, yeah, like, I, I'm ecstatic. I'd say a 10. When, when it comes, like, when I know, oh, it's going to be here on October 22nd, the first episode it's a 10 out of 10 right now it's like a seven eight me talking about it with you right now i'm at a nine because you know i love i want to talk about daima <laughs> yeah, yeah right yeah, yeah. um but again like the trailer didn't offer too too much so yeah. there's not much else for us to talk about other than you know what what do we think i again i think we yeah maybe some light predictions this. light predictions and yeah uh one thing that i read online is that um you know some of these villains look kind of like they're demons and so maybe we see a or at least a fan requested thing that we're seeing online is um do uh, my notes scrolled down deborah it'd be cool mm. to get a deborah um you know like he was a cool an interesting character and obviously there could be so much lore to him that we haven't explored he is the demon king isn't that what it was um yeah. something yeah, yeah. along no, those lines well, yeah yeah He's like he was a demon. No, no, uh, he demon... was the, of the realm, demon realm, or something like that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they could play with that character. I think that'd be really cool. That was one thing I I, I saw there and I wanted to bring up because I think that would be a really good tie into some of the character designs we're seeing. Uh, I really, really did like the character designs. I know you were just talking about it. Um, I am, you know, I, I said I think maybe it's possible they tried to tug on some heartstrings, and I say that because for me, uh, my hype level is at a twelve out of 10 right now i i you know I, to have the caliber of storytelling that we're ha that we have right now um to be where we're at from a storytelling perspective coming off of super going in you know now we're in the mangas uh, i'm so excited to see where this stage of toriyama brings us when we dive into more of that uh, nostalgic space or world um, you know, like what, what is the, what is that difference going to be? You know, that feeling. Yeah. Um, and I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It looks incredible. I think it does remind me, um, you know, some people were saying it was reminding them of Broly. I don't think so, but, um, maybe. In the no, there, there's the Broly animators are working on it. Are they? Like okay. That. I wouldn't say, well, well, I wouldn't say they are. look like they, it's, it's apples and apples. I'd say apples and pears, like in the shading after aspect of it. Um, yeah. but yeah I mean, being a versatile animator is also you know oh oh 100 percent, 100 percent. i just yeah. i know that like people have been craving like i'm not saying myself like it looks great 
but people mm. are like they want they want that broly animation and i understand why it looks great and we don't we don't even know like what because apparently like i told you there's apparently gonna be a fight around episode four to five that's going to t uh, and th this is coming from the people behind the scenes that said people who have doubted daima will check it out once they see this fight to me that screams crazy animation crazy choreo they're not fucking around yeah so and apparently i've been hearing it's canon i need it to be confirmed what i want it to be canon i'm gonna be honest not really just because when does this happen like we got to stop squeezing shit in um I'd have no issue with this if this is like, yo, this is end of Z. This is before the new gen starts kicking in. I mean, Goku and Vegeta are still the strongest in Gohan and Piccolo. But, you know, we're seeing that slow transition where, you know, Goten, Trunks, Pan, Bulla, um, you know, all these people are starting to get a lot stronger, at least. That's fine. I would still love Goku and Vegeta to be, like, the main people. Um, but as long as other people have bigger roles, I'm cool with that. That'd be cool. That's 100% that's cool. But I don't yeah. think that's what's happening. And I would be a bit disappointed if it was canon, just because, like I said, when is this taking place? Like, what do we, we, we can't squeeze more in. We just can't. Like, it's already confusing enough that Super came out 25, 30 years after Z, and we're saying it's before Z. Like, it's before, it's it's after Boo, but it's not the end of Z. People are like, what? What are you talking about? I, and uh, I, I this yeah. is after. I think also, like, with, uh, I mean, obviously it makes sense with the title of the game being Kakarot, but I was just going to say that um, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, I, I think it's interesting timing as well. I mean, um, obviously not too, too long ago, manga we got, um, was it a year ago we had Moro? The Moro arc? Yeah. Three and a half? Three and a half years ago? Three and a half, four years ago, yeah. Okay. They That's finished Tournament of Power true. in 2019. Okay. So more arc started in 2019. So that so that was like our first touch point beyond Uncanon GT with Oob. Um and then obviously I just read it uh, uh reread it. Oh, recently, but that's the end so. of Moro. So we're looking at like 2020. So yeah, about 3 years. Okay, okay, yeah. So that was like a little touch point. Now we're getting it again in Kakarot the game. Um I I think you're right, man. I think I think we are maybe we're entering into a space now where Daima ends and Goku goes off and, and then they revisit me, maybe, maybe reanimate the end of uh, Dragon Ball Z. And then it takes mm -hmm. us into Dragon Ball super season two. And it's actually from this point forward in Oob's part of the gang. It could definitely be something like that as well. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh!